This is the Nova Sphere. It's designed to do a quick visual field screen on patients. Um, it's designed to replace the confrontation test, which is pretty unreliable. So you just shine a, you just put this on the patient's face. You shine a light there and you ask the patient if they can see it in the various different positions of gaze. I'll now demonstrate it to you on a real live patient. Hello, Mr. Frick. Hello. Can you cover your left eye with your left hand? Now I want you to look at me with your right eye. Can you see me? Can you yes. see my eye? Yes. Can you see the light here? Yes. Can you see the light here? Yes. Where's the light now, left or right? Left. Now? Right. Now? Bottom or top? Bottom. Now? Left. Can you see it now? Right. Can you see it now? No, no, it's gone. You see, I'm testing his reliability. I shone it away. And he answered, no, he can't see it. So you can test how reliable a patient is by asking them where is the light, left, right, up or down. And if they can see it, and if they can't see it, if I've shone it away, they should answer no as he did. So that's just a very quick visual field screen that you can do on every patient. Uh, just a few other hints on using the Novosphere. Uh, it's important that the lighting is correct when you do it. You should dim the lighting. And the lighting in the room should preferably come from behind the patient. So I switch on this light, I put a dim light coming from behind, I switch off the main lights and then I do it on the patient. Because then the shadow of the main light won't obstruct the, the view on the Novosphere. And then that light will shine on my face so the patient can see my face. So the lighting is important. You should always try it out on yourself before you do it on patients so that you've got the lighting right, so that you've got the distance right, you've got the size of the thermoscope beam right, you must put it on the smallest beam and you can change the colour, if you want it more sensitive you can put it on a blue or a green or a yellow or any colour you like you can, you can do that to change the sensitivity and that's, those are just a few tips but if you read the book in the manual it, it's got more details and you're always welcome to email me uh, and ask me direct questions and, I, and we can discuss it. <music>